what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE My Rise video. And yes, yes, y'all, we are still at it here on SmackDown. We're going back to the pool hall because I know there was other stories that we need to hit in the pool hall. One, one of which was Shayna Baszler's story, which was a long, ongoing saga. And then uh, we got to talk to Lacey Evans because she was holding the United States Championship. And I want to know what the hell that's all about. I'm so grateful that Mr. McMahon decided to recognize me with this great honor. What are you talking about? Oh, just this United States Championship that was reintroduced for the WWE Women's Division. I'm sure you recognize the classic design. I'm all for another championship to pursue, but why was it awarded to you? Really, honey? Why was the United States Championship awarded to me, a former United States Marine? <laughs> Come now. I mean, I practically am America. Did you think they were going to choose a little nasty like yourself? See, look, this is what I'm talking about, man. Like, they got her in this, in this horribly dated gimmick. You know what I mean? For her character. And it's like, yo, she's a former Marine. Why not do something with that? You know what I mean? Why not build her character? I mean, you can make the argument, well, you know, the, I mean, nah, just make her, make her a badass, you know what I'm saying? Make her a straight up like a, a Marine character, because she was actually a Marine. Again, Lacey Evans, if you're watching this, thank you for your service. Very much appreciate it. <clears throat> and, look, I'm sorry, I, I'm going to say it, but I think it's kind of shitty that um, you're giving a, a, a an old men's United States Championship title, you know what I mean, to the women's division as like a hand-me-down title. <clears throat> as like a hand-me-down title rather than giving them their own, you know, unique title, which is why I created a women's United States Championship that you can download on the community creations, you know what I'm saying? But, but anyway. Well, I'd at least hope someone would earn it in the ring as opposed to just getting a handout. I know I'd like a fair shot at it. And so would I. Bless your heart. Is that a challenge? You bet your ass it is. You bet it's a challenge. After all, I'm sure you want to teach your daughter the value of hard work to get what you want, instead of just accepting unearned championships, even if it is from the chairman. You'll leave Summer out of this, thank you very much. And you would have done your best to leave yourself out of it, too. No one steps to the woman's United States champion Lacey Evans like that. Watch your back, you nasty. Yeah, nasty. <laughs> oh my god. Stars and Stripes Challenge. Yes, let's do this. <clears throat> yeah, nasty. <laughs> Why she said that? <sighs> Her brother and I used to say that all the time when we were kids. <laughs> yeah, nasty. <laughs> Whoa, Lacey Evans just came out of nowhere. Talk about nasty. This is uncalled for. Yeah, now who's nasty? Seems like someone poked the bear, didn't she? If the bear is Lacey Evans, that is. Listen, I don't care who awarded Lacey with that U.S. championship. I want a shot at it. And after Lacey's attack, I have as much right to it as anyone. Lacey included. <clears throat> Well, you're definitely not the only one who's upset with Lacey. A lot of women on SmackDown have been eyeing that title and are pretty annoyed with how high and mighty she's been acting lately. Yeah, among other things, I'm pretty tired of hearing her play the Star Spangled Banner over and over in the locker room. Beautiful song, but you can only take so much. Anyway, I've told Lacey that as long as I'm the GM of this brand, she has to defend the women's US title. But Lacey has an idea of how she wants to do it. And since Mr. McMahon gave her the championship directly, I'm letting her run with it. She's promised to announce it on social media later today. She's setting the terms for her title defense? Ugh, it's gonna be insufferable, isn't it? Well, when Lacey Evans is involved, yeah, probably. Which is a fatal four-way, but all foreign objects are banned. Let's see what they did there. Uh, winner faces me. The women's United States champion. So let me get this straight. All foreign objects. 
are banned, then it's like a regular Fatal 4-Way, but no weapons are allowed. Weapons are allowed, you dumb nasty. <laughs> but <laughs> the only American kind, all tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh my, candlesticks and uh, sledgehammers used in my Stars and Stripes Challenge uh, match will be 100% handcrafted in the in the good old U.S. of A. No foreign objects, American made. You know, what? I, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna gonna go there. But anyway, uh, whatever you say, Lacey Evans. Out of the way, uh, can't wait to win and face you for the title. I hope for for God's sake. I hope it's a it's an elimination match. Oh God! Damn you, Maurice! Okay, no, get the hell off of me, you nasty. Hugs, hugs. Damn it. Too close to Sonya Deville. No, get off me. I hate that stupid move. Get over here. All right, you need hugs. You need hugs. Someone's hurt you. You need hugs. Yes. Apple pie, bald eagles, Lacey Evans. Nothing is more American or more deserving. However. The winner of my glorious Stars and Stripes challenge? I can't even bear to utter her name. Someone who are hmm, general manager for some ungodly reason has put his faith in here on SmackDown. She thinks she can challenge me for the Women's United States Championship? There is no one more unfit to carry the title. <laughs> Bless her heart. Her patriotism doesn't even come close to mine. When I was born, I was swaddled in the stars and stripes. My first words were not mama or dada, but God bless America. And no one, no one can touch my perfect 45 degree salute. My challenger, she's just a plain old nasty. And I can't wait to prove that to the whole of these United States and the entirety of the WWE universe. Show you who the nasty is, you nasty. Uh, I swear, that's like her. That, that was probably her first word, nasty. I bet you nasty was her first word, cause she's been using like the the hell out of that word, man. Damn, I'm pretty sure I grabbed her. What the hell? Get the hell off me, you nasty. I'm gonna squeeze the nasty out of you, you nasty. <laughs> Give me that title. You nasty. So not only do we have the SmackDown Women's Championship, but we also got the United States Women's Championship, aka the United States Championship. So I guess we can call my girl Alice Two Belts. Let's go. Well, Lordy, Lordy, look who got a lucky break. When are you intending on returning? What's mine? Um, never. More like Lordy, Lordy, look who came up. Yeah, <laughs> bars. <laughs> she said, Lordy, Lordy, look who came up shorty. I will not dignify that with a response. Because you can't. But I will accept the time and date of my title rematch to take back the Women's U.S. Championship. What makes you think you deserve <clears throat> that? I beat you. Fair and square. Facts. Fair and square, unless you count the very clear fact that I was behind on sleep after doing all the American press. Are you serious? About my historic title reign. Fair and square, unless you factor in the number of nasty, unintelligent people in attendance who cheered for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> instead of me. Man, you can play the drinking game with the number of times she, she says the word nasty, you know what I'm saying? Damn nasty. And 
look, that lack of sleep uh, excuse, it may have worked for the, for the general manager, but it ain't going to work for your ass. I'm sorry. It's not. You're not going to drop this, are you? What about my American determination and work ethic makes you think I will relent <clears throat> from fighting injustice whenever and wherever I see it? Are you serious? Oh, boy. All right. I'll play ball. I'll give you your title match. Of course you will. It's the right thing to do. On one condition. If I beat you, again, you agree that we will be getting rid of the women's U.S. title completely. Because I can't stand to hear you talk about it anymore, regardless of who's champion. You can't just get rid of this championship. Mr. McMahon will be furious. Yeah, well, Mr. McMahon can take it up with uh, Triple H uh, and Stephanie. Uh. We'll worry about that <coughs> later. And besides, I know Adam Pierce and the entire SmackDown locker room will be behind me on this. She's not wrong. But that shouldn't bother you, right? Unless you're worried about losing to me, that is. That's exactly what that is. Well, you're right about that. I'll see you in the ring. Hold on, my beautiful U.S. championship. I'm coming for you and will rescue you from this undeserving nasty. Same, man. Drinking game. That nasty. Why, why, why do people gotta be nasty? I don't understand that. All right, get up, you nasty. Oh, hell. Come on, no sell, no sell. All right, you nasty. Get your ass up here. That's it, it's over. You nasty. Here is your winner and still women's United States champion, Alex <clears throat> Thunder. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed uh this little storyline that we played through. I think we only have like two more that we got to knock out and then we're done with SmackDown and we can move on to Raw. But until then, it's your boy Jason JV saying that make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below. Until the next one, y'all have a blessed one.